Compliance. At Kayani, compliance with the law is one of the important ways that we adhere to the value of integrity. We want to do the right thing, and we want to do things the right way. As a Kayani business partner, your responsibility is to run your business in compliance with the law, which protects you, your teams, your customers, and the company as a whole from the ramifications, lost income, lack of trust, and bad reputation that can come when things are done in the wrong way. In the direct sales industry, running your business in compliance with the law is generally just referred to as compliance. And until you understand it, compliance may seem like something that is boring and to be avoided. We get that. But when you understand it, at Kayani, compliance is actually an important feature, a key to keeping the Kayani opportunity safe and vibrant for everyone for the long term. Compliance matters to Kayani because we are here for the long haul. As your business partners, our goal is not to just help you build your Kayani business to last a year or two, but to last a lifetime and beyond, to be passed on to someone you love. A complete set of guidelines for compliance is found in three documents available in your back office. One, the Kayani business partner terms and conditions. Two, the policies and procedures. And three, the product and income claims guidelines. We won't cover everything in those documents in this training section. Instead, we're going to cover the most important things you need to know to build your Kayani business the right way. Claims. We love that you're enthusiastic about Kayani products and opportunities. We want you to be, and you need to be in order to be a good representative of your Kayani business. That said, it is also your responsibility to be careful about the claims you make when you talk about Kayani products and opportunities. Because of the way governments regulate dietary supplements, cosmetics, and the direct selling industry in general, there are certain things that you can't say when you talk about what Kayani has to offer and be compliant, even if they are true. We will explain what some of these are, and then we will show you the compliant way to talk about Kayani. Triangle of Health On the package of every product, you will see a legal disclaimer that Kayani products are not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. This is a disclaimer that governments require us to include because Kayani products are supplements and not drugs. The difference? Supplements are intended to increase your overall health through nutrition and thus support your body's own healthy natural functions to maintain optimal health. Drugs, however, as they are prescribed by your doctor or purchased over the counter, are intended to cure, prevent, treat, or mitigate disease. Because of the significant differences in how drugs and supplements are intended to be used, the laws governing how they are developed, tested, manufactured, certified for use, marketed, and distributed can be significantly different as well. And because Kayani's Triangle of Health products are classified as supplements, when you discuss Kayani products, you should not mention or discuss diseases or similar conditions. Even if you believe that the Triangle of Health has helped you or someone you know with a disease or chronic condition, you cannot say so and remain in legal compliance. For example, you cannot claim that a Kayani product can lower blood sugar, improve circulation, or reduce inflammation. This statement is not compliant. However, you can and you should explain to people that Kayani products can help their body's natural processes and thereby maintain a normal blood sugar, support healthy circulation, or maintain a healthy inflammation response. This statement is compliant. The difference? In the non-compliant example, the blood sugar circulation or inflammatory response is unhealthy and the Kayani product is being claimed to fix it. In the compliant example, those bodily structures and functions are already healthy and the Kayani product is helping to support or maintain the health of that structure or function. Flores. Kayani Flores products are classified as cosmetics and there are strict guidelines for the claims you can and cannot make about them. When talking about cosmetics, only claims relating to improving appearance can be legally made, as opposed to making claims related to changing the functions of the body. For example, when talking about Flores, you can say, Flores serum can help reduce the appearance of wrinkles. This is a compliance statement. You cannot say, Flores serum can help reduce wrinkles. This is a non-compliant statement. The difference? The word appearance. You can talk about changes in what the skin looks like, but not about changes in what it actually is. If you look through Kayani's official marketing materials, you'll see that we talk about reducing the appearance of wrinkles and not reducing wrinkles. This language ensures that we are legally compliant and that all of us are protected. Income Claims 
Similar to products, there are strict legal guidelines for how we can talk about the Kayani Opportunity in a compliant way. When you are sharing the Kayani Opportunity with someone else, it is natural and acceptable for you to explain to them the potential for them to earn an income through Kayani. However, it is also very important that you do not exaggerate how easy it is to build and maintain a Kayani business. It generally takes significant effort over a relatively long period of time for most people to build and maintain a Kayani business that can generate a full-time income, and you should not state or imply otherwise. We publish an annual income statistics document in the back office that shows how much Kayani business partners at different levels can earn, and approximately what percentage of partners reach each level. Whenever you discuss the Kayani opportunity, you should share this document. The U.S. Federal Trade Commission and the regulatory authorities in many other countries perceive discussions about income possibilities and opportunities to be misleading unless typical results are also disclosed. The purpose of our income disclosure is to provide information about the typical earnings of Kayani business partners at different ranks and how they got to those levels. Do that and we and you can be in full compliance with the law on this point. We realize that this can be a lot to take in. Don't worry, we've done the work for you so that as you are learning to talk about Kayani in a compliant way, you can use the specific language that we have included in the Product and Income Claims Guidelines that you can download from the back office. The product claims found in the guidelines are supported by science and phrased in a way that is compliant with legal requirements. And you will also find further information about how to make proper legal income claims.